I'm Zachary Fowler and you're watching my extra channel and today we're making soft plastics. If you remember in my other channel, Epic Baits made me a mold. This mold was made for the craw worm I designed on the seven day island survival challenge. And we used this in a video a little while back. Yes. Boom. Number four. Number four for me. So in preparation for our new Water World season two, I asked them if they would make me some production molds so we could start selling these. And they said, sweet, let's do it. And we'll send you a bunch of others to fish and make when you're out there on the water world thing. So the crawl worm is gonna be available on Fowler's Maker of Mischief soon under its new name, the Dragon Craw, because it's a crawfish dragging a worm. The, notice the spelling, not a dragon, <laughs> flames. Dragging a worm. So I thought that was a fun play on words. Works out pretty good. And we got a ton of other baits and we gotta get ready. We are literally, uh, 24 hours from pushing off on Waterworld season two. We got some soft plastics with floating stuff in it. We got some soft plastics, different dyes, scents. Let's make some soft plastics so uh, we can head out on Waterworld season two. If you're seeing this after the series is already out, check out that link in the description below for Waterworld. And if you're watching this after it just came out, stay tuned for that. Make sure you head over to Fowler's Maker and Mischief my other channel and subscribe so you're there for that Waterworld season two, the pirate ship edition. This is gonna be awesome. So forgive me if we're a little bit harried. We have been on this build for 13 days now. I have, I have worked every single day. I've only one day did I only work like eight hours. The rest of the time it's been like 10 to 16 hours of time. So the first thing we're lines. gonna do is the dragon craw. Ever since they made me it, they were like, hey, next time you pour those, after they saw that first time I poured them, they're like, you gotta make some uh, floating bits okay. so that the, the tip of the, the claws and all that stuff and the little worm dangles up. And so this time we're gonna pour, I think we'll start out with that. We'll make some of this floating stuff and we will uh, maybe pick out one of the other molds to do some floating stuff out of too. Maybe we'll make some soft top waters. Ooh, yeah. Ace and I, when we went out and did our little fish off and we made our own pours um, with some other lures, the, he, was flo he had one that had a bubble in it and he was working the top water with a paddle tail. Yeah. And, and just you just slaying them. He just totally destroyed me. So we're going with the dead on plastics for this. I don't know if there's other brands. This is just what we Chris brought over the first time I ever tried pouring plastics. And how much should we put in? Fill it right up. Okay. Most important thing is you got to mix it. If you don't mix it, it does not kick off. Mm, the forbidden milk. Maybe that much? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's fine. Okay. okay, let's try. It'll microwave either way. Spinning. I can't tell. That's always. Oh, very, it's turning. It's very turning. healthy. All right, so we got to turn the other fan on too. He's right against the microwave. Yeah. I, I, you know what? I stuck my head in a microwave once. I found it at a garage sale. I used to find all these old things at garage sales. And I stuck my head into the microwave and was like looking at the inner parts because I was curious about it. But my shoulder bumped the on button and it was an old one. It turned on and it, I was like, I could feel my ears almost pop. Oh like, my goodness. It was like, what the? so, you that know, good. that, uh, that's why I'm like, like half yeah. genius because that like just like the teenage mutant ninja turtles i have Here, been microwaved a little bit just a little bit some epic baits sent us all of these so we got we got this one from marling baits epic prey bait look at that so fishy. Like fish imitation uh crappy slayer two inch that's one of theirs epic whip wad whip wab whip wad i can't read it this uh, is just Typical Sanko, they call it the classic five inch slips. I say we do some bait. floating worms. Oh, Ooh. this is a. How about we go with those? For floating? Yeah. Give let's that try some of those. Got, this one's got a hook recess. Yeah, let's try some. So of the those. hook is easy to set. And if they float across the top, they kind of fish kind of wormish. And then we got some little guys. Really micros. Really nice ones. Good crappy white perch. Epic prey bait. Yep. Those are so cool looking. Those, are, I can't wait to fish those. Oh, yep. Drop, that would, be, good. That would a, be a good floater, too. So, in between. So, if we have enough plastic, so let's go do these two. Okay. So, we picked these up. Last time we had this one here. It's a little smaller. This is like a, how much was it? 60? 120 mil. This is 120. Oh, what's this? The big one, 45. 45. So, it like, you could do one mold and uh, and then a second mold, but you could probably do the, the, the Dragon Craw and this on one pump of this guy. But this one. I think we're gonna need that to fill all of this and one of these. We'll see how well these work because I already like the feel of these better. And it came with a set, so you have this piece here and you can see there's two nozzles. So you hook both of these up together yeah. at the same time. And if you put it in here right, we can pour the belly with one color 
and the, the top with the other color and they'll kind of mix in the middle. So you should end up with a half and half. Okay. So we're heating this up now in multiple stages, one, in, one minute at a time, we don't want to overheat it. And you overheat it, it gets really nasty and foamy and then it kicks off to like a harder density. You want to heat it right to its perfect temperature. Did you say 320? 320, 325. 320, 325. All right, we overheated it a little bit. Every time you do that, unfortunately, every time you overheat it, though, you you okay, lose you a little go, light. I say we go orange. Right orange the for the yeah. For, yeah. All right, let's First do it. Pour, why not orange? That's why he's stirring. I'm just gonna add. That was a lot. That looks pretty good. Very deep orange. Uh, and, what do you want to do for flake? Like some black to contrast the yeah, yeah, orange? yeah, black. It's a lot easier with two people. Yeah, right. <laughs> How about a touch of silver? Just for yeah, sure. Quality. It gives it a nice silver. sparkle. Oh gosh, Whoa. that was fully in the glitter color. bomb. Yeah. Oh, that was a lot of silver. You keep stirring. I got the clamp. All right. We lost our screws that come with it. You can have screws that are in it, but I don't know what happened to them. Moment of truth. Like it seems good, really good. Good orange. Good texture. All right. Ready? Get that nozzle down there, good and deep. Right, so you're not drawing in air bubbles. Oh yeah. Well, that draws in a lot. While you do this, I'm gonna go get some cold water so we can dangle a minute. Yeah? Well, that takes a lot too. What, why are you, oh, it filled though? Yeah, okay. it's filled. Cool, that's the good thing about that 120 mil. Thanks. I like this injector way better. Oh, that's nice, yeah. It's much nicer. Doesn't get stuck in the hole. Yeah. All right. Back in the mic for yeah. like 30 seconds. I would we'll say get 30. Back activated 15 to 30. Yeah. Just get a good. Nah, we don't need yeah. to scrape it. Well, it's enough time. So we can every heat. time you heat this, you will lose a little bit of color and pigment. So you don't want to overheat. You kind of want to give her a stir. Work fast and keep it. You draw it up, and I'll get these ready for another pour. Yep. That's good. We're moving quick here. Just pulled that guy out. Okay. <laughs> We're running on it already. Yeah, might as well, because then we can do another one right while you're pouring that. Oh, this is such a better pour. Don't burn the heck out of your hands. I think you got it. Pinch that edge off and that. Right there. There's the lure. Okay. We'll set those aside. Those are the from the mold part there, and we can reheat those and make more. Half a second break. There we go. Perfect. Those are Literally so nice. Look. Premium. Ooh, Ooh. Dude, I am so stoked to this. That's a fluke. Look at that. I didn't even realize. It looked like a worm. That's a I fluke. know, right? That'll be a great little like uh, top water. See it? Yeah, white trout. Those will fish. Is Look it? at how wiggly they are. Like. Yeah, this is a super soft plastic. Oh, I want to pour that two part. Oh, those look good. Oh man, those look like those look so good. Oh, but these will be Thank great God with a small good. weight, so it comes down and it just sits there, so like right. at the bottom, like this, mm -hmm. floating. All right, we're gonna do some anise. This is a scent. We're gonna add this to our mixture. Oh, that smells so good, licorice. I love licorice. <laughs> smell the garlic one. <laughs> Leave it in the comments below if you like licorice and the garlic ones. Chris says, smell the garlic one. I heard him crying about how. Oh, you're just smelling uh, it off of the squeeze tube, though. Yeah. I'm, I popped the cap on you it. You popped the cap off and just like full... chugged the, like, take it off. Oh, yeah. I like that. And the neon. Holy flake. All right, little guys. Oh, you just gonna send it. We're going fast. Why not? Wait, move, why move, move. Craw. I'll just be the other uh, little guys. I'll tend it. Make sure we're staying in a good temp. And another. Oop, missed it. All right, suck it. Yep. And, go for and, it. No, you run it. There you okay, go. Okay, I'll run it. Yep. And I'm going to get this one. Out of the way. I don't know if that worked or not, but. I think you got it. Oh, this guy turned out. Bench vice. Yeah, nice a little green one. Do a reveal here. Woo wee. That is beautiful. Somebody is watching this that makes these. <laughs> is like, oh, you guys are such a. Oh, yeah, Chris. They come all good? Oh, look at those. Oh, those look like white perch killers right there. Oh, my goodness. That is. Those are so perfect. Look at the little tail on this. Watch that thing wiggle. Oh, <laughs> that's a nice little one, too. Another little little swim tail with a little jig head. And blue. 
That's beautiful. That's gonna fish great. The big ones. Oh yeah. Now these, so this one, oh, this one I messed up and I didn't put the hook cavity on it. And now I wish I had, cause it's got a, you can get rid of the hook cavity or you could put the hook cavity on it. So these two have a hook cavity so they can be fished the big hook. And then your hook sets in there and then pops out the top that way sets the hook nicely and a nice tail on it. And that's the uh, whip wab. Is that what that says? Whip Epic, Epic whip wab. So we got two of those that came out really good. And then one last one. And there we go, another little guy. A little swimmy. And this is the Epic prey bait. And we're gonna try some, uh, what do you think? So let's try some uh, two color, adding the scent. Yep. And uh, let's get just pour a bunch more stuff. So we poured a little bit of everything and a couple of colors of everything. We'll have a whole bunch to bring with us. Double press. Hey, it's got a green belly though. Look at that. That is awesome. That is pretty Wait, cool. That's, that's cool. That looks so good. I'm not happy with the purple myself, yeah, but no. like that turned out pretty good, right? Oh yeah. Top and bottom, a nice little swim tail. Like a, oh, that's so garlicky. Smells like my armpits after I ate a bunch of garlic. Yeah. I'm starting to get them. What happened there? I, I what guess. What the heck? I didn't realize I had poured some <laughs> green into this one. I kind of like that. So it's though. got, yeah, it's got like a, a, it's got a green chin, white body, and a uh, purple head. All right, we're gonna go with the pearlescence. I have no idea what I'm doing with the pearlescence. Oh wow, that's cool. Green pumpkin and garlic. No, anise. Oh, that's so wild. Is it, can you see it? Yeah, you can see the All blue right. shiny. All right, it's kind of got a bluish shininess. Very cool. Oh, the anise smell. Oh my Smells goodness. good. So good. I want a dozen of these craws with the, uh, I'm gonna with the pearlescent. You. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I feel like I could have gone a little lighter on it. Like I went a little heavy, right? We got a good little layout here though. To yeah. start. What was that? I don't know if the mics picked that up or Thoughts not. But coming through. <laughs> Chris just <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, just blame it on. And all right, so it's now this one. Oh, that's much better. Especially because of the hook cavity, it's kind of like almost clear there completely. That's cool. Like you can see like the organs and stuff inside it, the way it came and mixed together. I don't know how well something like this 50, 50 will make a difference down deep. I almost feel like down deep, like the white and the like make the most difference, but like for a bass, chuck in it and, and just straight retrieve real fast. Like, what are you going to catch with that? Lake trout, bass perch a lot of things but well, that's a beautiful color we'll make some out there while we're out there we got a little crock pot and we got our little tags here we're gonna bag up all of our stuff so we can uh, go out and have an adventure it's turned out amazing Chris made all kinds of cool ones we got better as we went like you can see the pearlescence in these is just so appealing like I, I think that looks really good I like that one I love this white one with the pearlescence not just a plain white there's that pearlescence in it and I especially love this leech pattern that they make with epic baits that's I I have a feeling that's gonna be one of my new favorites and our dragon craws are looking awesome so we got uh, these are purpley and they're annies so let's see if those will catch the fish and I'm gonna bag them up for a couple for Chris and a couple for me we got our brand new label I think we'll put it like this that way the I got our plastics in there and we'll put it to the bottom of it. Just so that we can keep them on there and keep track of what flavors we got going on. Our first bag of lures all labeled up. We also got a chunk of the floating plastics left that we can heat up in the crock pot and make some more of those out on the boat since we're just be making singles. The ones that end up on the website I think are gonna be different. We're still working on our color arrangements. So I got my green with a little pearlescence, a really, really light green with pearlescence and purple with some green mix half and half here we go i'll bag up chris's and we're gonna bag the rest of these up take them with us on our adventure we got a floating one to mess around with i'll probably do a half and half floating one see how this floats if it if it 
if it fishes good this way, then maybe I'll do all floating, figure out some better colors for it, or maybe I'll just make it so that the worm floats and the rest doesn't. We're still experimenting and those will be available on the website as soon as we got that all figured out. And, uh, and then we got a garlic one and we got an anise one. So there's tons of different combinations. We'll fish these on our adventure as well as the rest of the ones from Epic Baits. Check out the link in the description below for Epic Baits that makes my mold. You can buy my mold there and or one of their molds to start pouring your own. Wicked fun to do, lots of fun. Check them out there or go to Fowler's Makery and Mischief and purchase your new Dragon Craws and fish my Dragon Craw I designed out on the uh, Seven Day Island Adventure. That was so cool, I designed that. Epic Baits made it for me and now we are available for you guys. And don't forget to go head over to my main channel, Fowler's Makery and Mischief, and check us out fishing these on our Seven Day Water World Survival Challenge Season 2. It's going to be awesome. See you guys in the next one. Fowler.